Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Andrew Says, with a completely and totally new shirt, I swear. Hey, did you guys boycott the Trump address just like Twitter told you to? I'm sure it was completely genuine and not at all fabricated that it was at the top of the trending list and then somehow disappeared right after the address happened. I'm sure that was just natural Twitter trending. Now, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer came on dead-faced, dehydrated looking right after the Trump address, and they pretty much backed themselves into the corner with this one now. So if Trump does get the funding for the wall, it's completely on them, and they look terrible. And I don't understand why they called or tried to call Trump's bluff on this one. No one ever call, is able to successfully call Trump on a bluff. Kim Jong-un tried to call Trump on a bluff. Hillary Clinton's tried to call Trump on a bluff. David Letterman, I'm pretty sure when he had Trump uh, receiving field goals on top of the rooftop tw uh, almost 20 years ago, pretty sure he thought Trump was bluffing too. It's looking down on Adam. Now let's take a look west and see where he's kicking to the roof of the uh, parking garage down there. All the way. Oh, now there's the guy that's going to try and catch the ball. Let's see. There he is, Donald Trump. You have to ask yourself, how busy can this guy be? <laughs> I'm going to catch these footballs. It's going to be great. You, I might be the best kick returner the NFL has ever seen, to be completely honest with you. See, now Chuck Schumer has supported the wall. Clinton, the Clintons supported walls. The Obamas were called the deporter-in-chief. They deported the most people ever. It's almost as if... They don't realize that people have the internet and they can fact check this and go back and see what they've said. And this is why, this is why you're losing your com uh, your party to communists to social democrats. This is why you're losing because you think that people are too stupid to realize any of this. And now, if you had any thoughts left at all that CNN or MSNBC were not cheerleading for the Democrats, MSNBC and Rachel Maddow had Alexandria or Casio. Cortez on retainer, it seems, to respond to the address by the president. Moreover, the one thing that the president has not talked about is the fact that he has systematically engaged in the violation of international human rights borders on uh, human rights on our border. He has separated children from their families. He talked about what happened the day after Christmas. On the day of Christmas, a child died in ICE custody. The president should not be asking for more money to an agency that has systematically violated human rights. Sweet, sweet AOC, that's what we're calling her now, or is it LL Cool OC, I don't know. Um, of course she's misleading though, the child that died, unfortunately, tragically of course, that we have to use her name this way, or her person this way, um, died from dehydration, from going across the desert to try to illegally get to America, but I guess that doesn't matter, just let them all in, forget about the people and the children possibly being sex trafficked into the country, forget about the people being smuggled into the country, forget about the people in line legally to get into the country. Let everyone through. No human is illegal. Trump hates all immigrants, not just illegal ones he's talking about, even though his wife is an immigrant. So my prediction here after all this is that the government's going to continue to be shut down for a while, but the wall will be built. The compromise will be. There will be some DACA compromise to make the Democrats kind of happy. They're going to let, I think it's 700,000 people on DACA. I think they'll be allowed to stay a pathway to citizenship within a few years. And I think they're going to avoid, at all costs, calling it the wall. They're going to call it updated border security. You can just see <laughs> Pelosi and Schumer coming on now, can't you? Uh, we did not give them the wall. We have given them added border security and additional metal fencing. It is not a concrete wall. You can actually see through the wall, can't you, Nancy? Yes, Chuck, you can see through the wall, I believe, at, at most points of entry. Um, we are just enhancing security and adding technology to the border. We must tell you that it is definitely not a wall. There will be no wall. It is just a metal fence, we swear. Thank you for watching Andrew Says and I wouldn't lie to you and I definitely wouldn't make you watch videos of me talking about politics from the front seat of my car. It's just lazy.